Uh, proof cos 2a plus cos squared minus sine squared. Not a lot of space here. So I kind of feel like they're permitting students to use the double angle formula, which I really don't like using to prove this. Uh, instead, I, I, I like to use the Morgan's theorem to prove it, but there's just, I don't think there's a space to use the Morgan's. So I think they're just imagining students using double angle, which I really don't like. Really, really don't like this. Cos plus, uh, cos a plus cos a. So that would be cos a cos b, which is also an a, minus sine a sine b cos squared a minus sine squared a. I really don't like that. I really don't like that. Uh, solve this equation between 0 and pi. Let's put our calculator in radian mode. Sine theta over 2 is 1 over root 5. So, and then they want you to find cos theta. Okay, so, oh, they're not asking to solve this. They want you to find cos theta. Ah, I see. I see, I see, I see. So, let a equal theta over 2. So then that means 2a equals theta. So cos theta will be cos 2a, which would be cos squared a minus sine squared a, which would be cos squared theta over 2 minus sine squared theta over 2. Now, if I draw a little right angle triangle here, that's 1, that's root 5, and that would be 2. So cos theta is plus or minus 2 over root 5. Now, we have to decide if it's plus or minus depending on which quadrant we're in. However, I don't need to decide because I'm going to square it, so who cares? And then minus the sine squared, so that would be 1 over 5. Um, so that's 4 fifths minus 1 fifth, which is 2 fifths. Four fifths minus one fifth is three fifths, of course. How on four minus one is three? Good grief. Three fifths. Okay. Please uh, comment if you spot any slips like that in any of the questions. I suppose that's why it's good to check your work at the end of the exam if you have time. Sorry, I stopped the video too soon. There's still a, a part B here to this question. Um, tan B plus 150 is minus root 3. B is between 0 and 360. Solve that. Okay. So first we say B plus 150 is equal to tan inverse minus root 3. So that means b plus 150 equals minus 60. And um, the way we get the second answer for tan is by adding 180 to the first answer. So the second answer is 120. Then if we add um, 150 to both, oh, sorry, minus 150, isn't it? So that would be minus 60 minus 150. That's minus 210. And then 120 minus 150 is minus 30. But the answers have to be between 0 and 360. So you can fix that by adding 360 
looping around once the unit circle. So that's 330 and 150. Now let's check the answers. Tan 150 plus 150. Yep, minus root 3. And then tan uh, 330 plus 150 is also minus root 3. Okay, now I'm finished.